Today, we are going to be rebuilding AC Milan from FIFA 14 all the way to FC 24. Easily the most requested team on the last 10 year rebuild we did with Tottenham Hotspur and obviously one of the biggest teams in Europe and a brilliant team to rebuild. Because here is that AC Milan team way back in FIFA 14 and let's be honest, it looks stinky. Don't get me wrong, you've got some good players in here. I mean, like, this was the season that Kaká came back to AC Milan. This time around, maybe it wasn't as great. But your highest rated player is Mario Balotelli, and that's probably the highest rating he will be for the rest of the rebuild. As iconic a team as AC Milan is, this team came in eighth place in Serie A, so we have got uh, quite a fair job on our hands. But before we get into it, people, I just wanted to say there is a really exciting opportunity with this rebuild. All the way back in 2014, Real Madrid were only sitting on nine Champions League titles, of course. Since then, they have gone all the way up to 14. However, ladies and gentlemen, we've gone all the way back to 2013, as you can see. So in this timeline, Real Madrid still only have nine Champions League titles and AC Milan have seven. The goal of this rebuild is to try and overtake Real Madrid for the most Champions League titles in history. We're going to try to make AC Milan the most winningest team in the Champions League. So ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe and let's do this. So to start off the rebuild, I'm going to do what I always do, which is of course transfer list certain players that I don't really think are going to kick on and all do that well. Like you've got a lot of players, even Robinho I've got transfer listed here. He's not even going to be in the game in like two years. I am also going to prevent the transfer of two very big players away from AC Milan. Right before the start of this season, AC Milan sold two huge players to PSG. Those players are Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Thiago Silva. There is no way I'm letting PSG get their hands on those two. Thiago Silva is still at AC Milan and so too is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Obviously, he would have returned to AC Milan eventually anyway, but why not just keep him at the near 90 overall he is? So we're going to slide out Robinho for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That's a big improvement. And Christian Zapata is going out for Thiago Silva, immediately a huge, big boost to the team. But so many of these players are only going to fall off. El Shirari is going to ba basically stay at about a low 80 to high 70 rating. And we have some budget, but not an awful lot of budget, so I might need to really focus where I spend this. I think I've decided since we're going to have some real big depth issues with, you know, just players I'm letting go. Yeah, not Chirino, we can sell him on as well. I've gone ahead and shortlisted a bunch of young players that I would love to see here at AC Milan just to fill that deck. I'm still letting go of all the players that I don't want at the club, all the players that aren't going to turn into anything special. So we'll see what we really need. I'm not letting go of Thiago Silva to Man City. Now that we've bumped the budget up to, oh my God, almost like 50 plus mil. I'm going to start making moves for a ton of these players. Let's just see who we get. As much as I love the idea of going for Marquinhos and just stealing PSG's centre-back partnership, I can't. He's just arrived to the club. So instead, I might whack an offer in for Americ Le Port. And how about I also go for Khalidou Koulibaly as another centre-back? Two French centre-backs. Yeah, back in the day when they actually were both French. One player from PSG I might be successful in stealing. Could be Marco Verratti. Let's bring that Italian in. Let's maybe go for, I don't know, Alessandro Florenzi. And finally, a more attacking option. How about Memphis Depay? Let's just start with those five and then see what we've got left over. Well, the good news is all five have accepted their contract. So that's good. Oh, beautiful. These five are pretty much all around the mid to low 70 mark. I mean, I would say apart from Marco Verratti, he could actually start. Yeah, I reckon Sully Montari could probably make way for Marco Verratti there. Beautiful. He's in. And we still have, you know, close to 20 million left over. I might go for a center attacking midfielder. And you know what? I might just go all out on Jenny Wijnaldum. Maybe I might even chuck Sully Montari into the offer as well. See if we can get rid of him too. And we are going to get that deal done. That'll pretty much do it then, people. Another big signing. But bloody hell, we've shook the team up early already with all those signings, with bringing Zlatan back. Looks like he's injured. Hopefully, he's only out for a little bit. But look at the total of players that have joined and players that have left. It's ridiculous. It's almost two full pages. This is what you call a rebuild, people. Again, a reminder, we are gunning for the Champions League record to beat Real Madrid to overtake them. I don't think we're going to be a competitive Champions League team 
for maybe a good couple of seasons, I know. Nonetheless, we've done a lot in this season. Let's push on and see how we do. Of course, we're focusing on Champions League, but in the Serie A, we have a chance to immediately disrupt the Juventus winning streak. They are still on top with one game to go this season. We're second. Look at Roma. Look at Inter. They're also in the hunt as well. What a final day to start off this rebuild here. God, anyway, let's just try to win this game and try to win Serie A in our first season on the final damn day. If you need a reminder of the picture, it was 30 seconds ago. You should probably see a doc. But bloody hell, I mean, four teams that could win it on the final day. What a team we've rebuilt already. Brought back some superstars like Zlatan, shame you can't play, and Thiago. Can the team that finished eighth in real life this season go on and win it? That would be beautiful. Let's do it. Kicked off. Underway. Can we get that first Serie A title? I've got Balotelli. That is such a beautiful ball. Balotelli. Oh my God, he gets it on the rebound. He scores at last. Jesus Christ, how many chances do you want, man? Now, how is it looking with Juventus? That's the question. Going to sit there for Kaka. He'll have a go. It is saved. Only just. Nearly, nearly. Would love for him to score today. Does win us a corner. And it's not a bad one. And it's definitely number two. Who is that? Maxis. He's at the back stick. Impossible angle. Oh, he nearly tried it, Balotelli. Oh, what a ball. Could it be Kaka? No, denied by the crossbar. I still have not seen an update. Have they scored in the second? It would be so cruel. But right now, I think we might be champions. Seal it with a goal from the captain. Oh my god, the woodwork again. But that's it. Are we champions? Have you been to scored? We are not exactly running around like crazy. I tell you what, I don't think this looks all too promising. Unbelievable. Juventus have scored a goal in the last half of the whole season. And they pip us to the title by a point. Unbelievable. They also win the Copa Nacional, and it's Real Madrid that win the Champions League. Just like they did in real life, and that also means they're up to 10 Champions League titles now, which means we now have to win four in this series. Our job just got a hell of a lot harder. So no trophies yet for this AC Milan team, although we came within a point of getting a league title. Here are your substitutes, here are your reserves, and there are quite a fair few of them. Over to FIFA 15. And before we continue on, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Now, as you lads would know, I've been sporting this beard now for a good while. And Manscaped recently sent me the Beard Hedger Pro Kit to help me keep it looking as good as possible. The star of the game is the Beard Hedger Trimmer. With it, you can choose from up to 20 different hair cutting lengths with just the one guard. It's cordless, it's waterproof, it's got a super sleek design. And the rest of the kit comes with a beard shampoo, conditioner, oil, it comes with a travel bag. You also get a free beard accessory pack as well. So if you're looking to level up your beard game, head to manscaped.com today. And if you use the code MASTERBUCKS at checkout, you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping. Thank you once again to Manscaped. Back onto the video. This season, AC Milan let go of Mario Balotelli after literally only one season of having him. He went to Liverpool. They also let Kaká go on a free to the MLS to join Orlando. They brought in an obscene amount of players for not too much money. Guys like Jeremy Menez from PSG. You've got Mattia Destro from AC Roma. Marco Van Ginkel from Chelsea. And plenty more that I won't go for, but here are some players that I will go for starting with one player from Chelsea and that is Fernando Torres for just a million euros that's it how much did Chelsea buy him off of Liverpool for they also signed Bonaventura Adil Rami will get him in as well and Diego Lopez from Real Madrid. He becomes their highest rated goalkeeper, so we'll get him in. There's also one other player they got, and that was Alex at centre-back from PSG as well. But this is what the starting 11 of AC Milan looks like currently. You know, I mean, it could still do with some improvement, but it looks a hell of a lot better than the AC Milan team that finished 10th in real life in Serie A this season. A decent amount of players have gone up pretty high in overall, like Memphis Depay is already up to a 79. Wine Adams up to 78. A very low budget this season for some reason. We might not be able to pull off all that many transfers. I would like to improve the left back position, so I'm going to go for one of these two, either Ricardo Rodriguez or Jose Gaia. Ricardo Rodriguez actually ends up joining AC Milan in real life in a couple of seasons from now, but why not get him when he's really highly rated? We may not be able to afford him with that 15 to 22 mil valuation. I might try chucking Kevin Constant in as well and 
basically blow everything that we've got to get him. And if he doesn't work out, Jose Gaia is the backup option, but we should be able to comfortably get that one done. And yeah, not possible for Ricardo Rodriguez, but it is possible for Jose Gaia. So a little slight improvement at the left back spot, but over time, I think Jose Gaia will end up being quite a valuable addition. Andrea Poli, not really going to turn into a star-studded player. I can maybe let him go to Porto. And we've got a fair few defenders. I can maybe sell Zapata. And with that sudden extra cash, let me go for another player we had shortlisted last season. That's Granit Xhaka. Bloody need to pay big money to get him in. But thankfully, we are going to make it work. And with that, Granit X Hacker has joined AC Milan. I get X Hacker. I got Gaia. I got Nick. We are still in the Champions League after finishing second place last season. Can we bag our first trophy here, maybe in 2015? Hey, hey babes, let me go back, 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 back. It is still technically recording. Hi, Hi. special feature guest. Hello. <laughs> What's your name again? No, for the people. Oh. Yeah, I know your name. Oh, hey, people. Desiree, just chilling with my man. Mm -hmm. ah! Okay. Well, we have to settle for second again, unfortunately. We are six points off Juventus this time in Serie A. No domestic cup. The Champions League was won by Bayern. Well, at least we don't have to worry about now 11 Champions League titles for Real Madrid. And we got dumped out in the quarterfinals, even though we took Thiago Silva and Zlatan, PSG still beat us. And we only really have like eight seasons now to win four Champions League titles, and that's if Real Madrid don't win another one. Stress, but anyway, over to FIFA 16. Once again, it was another very busy transfer window for AC Milan. Robinho left on a free to China. Uh, De Jong ended up going to the MLS with Los Angeles. And they signed a heap of players that I'm not really going to go for either. Guys like Carlos Backer, Luis Adriano from Shakhtar. There's only one player I'm going to recreate the signing of, and that is Alessio Romagnoli, who they got from Roma. Aside from that, the only other new face in the team is a certain Hachimastor up from the youth academy gosh wonder how his career is gonna go the only player in the starting 11 that is not an 80 or higher is the right back abate and i reckon possibly we could swap him out for a new right back one of the better right backs in the world at this stage is juan fran atletico madrid he may not have very fond memories of the San Siro in real life. So let's go ahead and change even more history and pick up Juan Fran and bring him to AC Milan. And just like that, we are back up to an all 80 rated starting 11. We are still trophyless. Can we maybe change that here? Well, once again, it's so close. We are right there, but Juventus just always seem to get Serie A. Champions League has unfortunately not happened for us either. But again, thankfully, Real Madrid didn't win another one. But one cup final we have have made is the Italian Cup. We will take on Roma. Maybe finally we can get underway with some silverware. If we can take down this Roma side, we will finally have our first bit of silverware. We have lofty goals for this rebuild. The Italian Cup is the least of our concerns, but we'll still take all the silverware we can. But we're off and underway now today. Come on. Oh, it's last hand. Get that ball in there. Right up the middle. It's all clean. Yes. Cut back. Oh, come on. You are oh, bloody hell. He nearly blew the net out. What a rocket of a shot. And what is De Jong doing getting up for that far? Unbelievable. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he just cuts it back too easily. No one's picking him up. Thank God for the net. If it wasn't there, that'd have hit someone in the crowd and killed someone. That's unbelievable. Nigel De Jong. Okay. I mean, God damn. Oh, crap. Not good. Dieco! Wow, that was close. Oh, no. Bad challenge. This could be bad. It's not again the woodwork. Twice saved now by the post. Very, very lucky. Look at the far side here. Feel like having a crack. And, oh, that was ambitious. Go on, we have targets. One more goal just to end it. Look at him. He's so open. It's cleared off the line. Look, we may not need it. Somehow, it's only a minute of stoppage time. The ball is floated in. Of course, it's held by Chesney again. Unbeatable since we scored. But we got the goal. And we'll get our first trophy. It's Nigel de Jong who's going to be the match winner. That is actually a pretty damn goated Roma side with, like, Mo Salah and a lot of other really top players but we are able to take them down we hold on to ibrahimovic we keep adding stars finally we have the first trophy of the rebuild but again 
the Champions League is the focus. This is nice, but it's not the end goal. We will, of course, however, happily take any silverware we can get our hands on. Despite having won Serie A 19 times in real life, they've only won this cup five times, AC Milan, so a rare one that will take it. So finally, the first trophy, that's great, but we've only got eight seasons left now, and we need to win four Champions League. So a Champions League every second season, that's going to be tough. We really, really need to go all in on this rebuild. Let's go to FIFA 70. Once again, plenty more free transfers away from AC Milan, like Fernando Torres going full-time to Atletico Madrid, Luis Adriano to Spartak Moscow, and they sold Stefano Sharari to Roma for about 13 million. I think we can probably hang on to him. And looking at the list of names of players they brought in, I don't know if I'm just a fraud football fan, but I barely recognize any of the names that they brought in this season, so probably not going to recreate any signings IRL this season either. The starting 11 actually takes quite a big change this season with a lot of new faces like Fernando Torres, who we've held on to, is actually now one of the better strikers that we have. Xhaka and Verratti really jumping up and overall, you know, you've still got a pretty similar back four. And oh, by the way, a certain Gianluigi Donnarumma comes up from the Youth Academy. So watch out, Diego Lopez. I think we're about to have a full-time future goalkeeper in maybe, God, by next season. We got a big offer from Spurs for Niang and honestly I don't think he's going to get much higher rated than that so we can maybe let him go and Bournemouth want Donnarumma haha <laughs> no now look people we're trying to win the Champions League we need to go big we need to go hard we just sold one French attacker I'm going to go and replace him with another let's go and pick up Kylian Mbappe ladies and gentlemen from AS Monaco yep he hasn't even joined PSG yet deal looks like it could happen as well don't tell me I could get him for what 5 million euros and while looking for maybe some good future players for us. I found this lone listed fella by the name of Rodri. Oh, yeah, could maybe go for him as well. So Rodri joins and so too does Kylian Mbappe. How good to have these two in. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time until they eventually make their way into that starting 11. I think the team is pretty decently rated. However, I just don't think it's quite good enough to be regularly making Champions League finals at this stage, which is alarming considering we really needed to if we're ever going to overcome take Real Madrid. Well, I tell you, this is something quite unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. We have not, uh, again, failed to win the league, and this time we don't even get Champions League. We are in fifth. Juventus, just like in real life, are on a tear. They will not lose a single league title. We also made the final of the Copa Nacional. We lost that 1-0, so we're still only on the one trophy. And in the Champions League, we didn't even get close to the final. Of course, it was, wow, a bloody North London derby final, which was, again, won by Arsenal. Tell you what, we made some pretty big moves, bringing in Mbappe and Rodri at the young ages they are in. But honestly, we may need to just do more than that. It's going to have to take a lot now to get these Champions League titles when we haven't even made a final yet. Yeah, strap yourselves in for a mammoth transfer window in FIFA 18. No, this season, AC Milan it spent a pretty insane amount of money, like almost close to 200 million euros. Players like Andrea Conte from Atalanta, BC, and as well as Lucas Biglia from Lazio. I won't quite go for them, but I'll go for maybe four signings that they made in real life. Ricardo Rodriguez from Wolfsburg, Hakan Chalhanalu from Bayer Leverkusen, Andre Silva from Porto, and finally, the most expensive and probably biggest one of them all was Leonardo Bonucci they got from Juventus for about 42 million. So he goes in, obviously, to the starting 11 alongside Silva. So too does Ricardo Rodriguez at left back. Diego Lopez is still only just higher rated than Gianluigi Donnarumma, but this will probably be the last season that is the case. Now, if you're eagle-eyed, you'll probably notice that uh, there is no Zlatan Ibrahimovic in this team. That's because, as I've come to notice, in FIFA 18, the base version of the game, Zlatan wasn't in it. You see here with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you see this little red spot right here? This is the only time he wasn't in FIFA until he retired. So we're going to have to go the whole season without Ibrahimovic because the service to FIFA 18 are well dead. We can't add him onto the team. Thankfully, Mbappe is up to an 83 and Balotelli to an 82. Will that be enough? to get to a Champions League final, I don't know. Only one trophy to show for the four seasons we've done so far. We're not even in the Champions League this season. 
We have got to get on track starting now. Well, some good news. At last, we have won, finally, Serie A. It took a, it took a minute. Serie A Championship sealed, and how about the rest of the competitions? Well, we made the Italian Cup final, but we lost on penalties to Torino, and we couldn't even make the final of the Europa League either. That was won by Hoffenheim. Thankfully, Real Madrid did not win the Champions League either, so we are still only chasing a total of 10. We're back in the Champions League winning Serie A, and we really, if we're going to do this, we need to win at least like a Champions League or two within the next three years, realistically. I dare say it has to happen now in FIFA 19. This season, about a year after signing him, they sold back Leonardo Bonucci to Juventus for 35 million. That is a bit odd. I'm going to hang on to him regardless, but he won't be able to get into our starting 11, honestly. They also made some questionable signings like Fabio Barini from Sunderland and oh, how about Samu Castillo from uh, Villarreal. But one player that they did sign from Flamengo was Lucas Paqueta. Now, that's not too bad to get a Brazilian center attack and midfielder in. I was under the assumption that we still were going to have Kaká in FIFA 19, but we actually don't. He's now retired or no longer going to be in FIFA. So Lucas Paqueta is going to have to be his replacement. The starting 11 looks absolutely fantastic. Yes, we do have Zlatan Ibrahimovic back. I think for the first time in this rebuild, I, I have a team that I reckon could maybe win the Champions League. I would maybe still be keen on bringing in a player or two, like, for example, Federico Valverde, 76 overall, 19 years of age. And apparently we could get him for a reasonable amount of money. Ignazio Abate can probably maybe, hopefully be part of the deal. And uh, nah, Zidane doesn't seem to be having it. We'll just have to pay straight cash. Uh, to be fair, we could probably afford him. We have certainly got the money to do just that. So adding in Federico Valverde as well. God damn, that is, uh, that's going to be a pretty decent midfield. I think maybe when Wijnaldum drops out, Valverde could find a way in. I really, for the first time, strongly believe we could maybe reach a Champions League final. Will we do it now, finally? We cannot sadly go back to back in Serie A. We are going to finish third to, of course, Juventus, who still have a stranglehold on Serie A. At least we were able to break it up. We make, again, for the second season in a row, the Italian Cup final, but again for the second season in a row, lose on penalties. Unbelievable. I, I certainly hope that the Champions League final does not go to penalties because we have finally made it. And look at this. It's Real Madrid, our first opponents. If Real Madrid win this, their total goes to 11 Champions League titles while we would still be stuck on seven. So if we don't win this, effectively the goal of overtaking Real Madrid is pretty much over. We simply put straight up have to win this Champions League final. If we don't, the entire purpose of this rebuild will be null and void. But with this really new look, but still awesome Champions League, hopefully winning side in AC Milan, can we grab our first one of the rebuild? Must win game, we're off and underway in the UCL final. Oh, really well won. I was almost thinking of pulling the trigger. But instead, Mbappe with a strike that just goes wide. He kind of actually rocks that AC Milan kick quite nicely. Just not quite able to find the finish there. Laporte, I've got... Oh, it's going to find him. Oh, Zlatan, no. Oh, my God. It's got to be offside. Come on, man. Bale, what is that connection? Delivery in is not bad. It's going to get over the top of everybody. Oh, no. Oh my goodness, no way! That's how you win a Champions League final! The captain Zlatan Ibrahimovic is given a gift by Navas. I don't believe what I'm witnessing. Why would you try that? I am not going to pass up a gift like that when we are yet to score the whole game. That's when it comes in the 84th minute. And who else but Zlatan himself? He's finally going to get a Champions League, maybe. There is still some time to go, but what a time to get a goal. Oh, I got Zlatan sort of away again. He's not the paciest man in the world. This man is, though. Surely Mbappe maybe have taken... No, not too heavy a touch. He has wrapped it up. It is over. Incredible. Navas has sold for Real Madrid almost as hard as Kamani what Karius did. Incredible. And Mbappe is also going to get a Champions League win as well. Both strikers score in the final. And it is an eighth Champions League for AC Milan. 
More importantly than that, it's not an 11th for Real Madrid. We are just two Champions League titles away now from equaling Real Madrid. This is promising. We can do this. And the man who'd done so much in his career but win a Champions League, in this timeline, he gets it done. What a moment for him. AC Milan were on the board. A Champions League title at last in the rebuild. Only the third trophy we've won so far. We definitely need to try to change that. But we've always been focused on the Champions League, and finally we get it. Thank God, people. Mbappe poses with the trophy, and by the way, he also was the player of the competition. I'm telling you, he sports that kit, man, well. Maybe it's because he's the spinning image of Dida, <laughs> the old AC Milan goalkeeper. I don't know. So 11 Champions Leagues is what we need to overtake Real Madrid. We're up to eight now. We've got five seasons to get these three UCLs. I think maybe we can do it. Let's see if we can in FIFA 20. <laughs> This season, AC Milan, I don't know whoever was in charge of transfers for this season, but he was cooking. They brought back Zlatan Ibrahimovic on a free from MLS. Obviously, we don't need to do that. He has stayed here this whole time. They also signed Frank Kessier from Atalanta. They signed Ismail Benasser from Empoli for just 17 million. He's quite the player. They also picked up Theo Hernandez from Real Madrid and Rafael Leao from Lille. Wow, four signings right there. I'm 100% going to recreate. Obviously, players like Theo Hernandez and, of course, Rafael Leal are just on the reserves for now. They're lying in wait. Eventually, they'll definitely get into the starting 11. But for now, the starting 11 we have, it keeps getting stronger, which is great. I think we're going to have a really strong finish to this rebuild. We will still maybe be able to pull off this Champions League record. I am aware that Ibrahimovic is getting on and his overall is going to drop. But right now, that's a great pairing with him and Mbappe. I just wonder who's going to be the guy that we next sign to step up for him. Yeah, Leao is going to be great. Uh, I just wonder if we get someone really high quality now. I'm honestly thinking I might do it. I haven't made any really big, big transfers myself for huge money. So why not go for Karim Benzema? I'm just going to blow everything we have for him. I feel like this player might have a Ballon d'Or in him a little later down the line, you know. So let's go ahead and get him signed up then. Welcome Karim Benzema to AC Milan. And with that, people, we have a new strike partnership, an all-French strike partnership of Mbappe and Benzema. I've also transferred a few players like Ricardo Rodriguez, Sampanara, and De Chiglio. They're not really going to get much better than this, and they're just up in the reserves, really. This team is even better than the team, in my opinion, that won the championship. Champions League last season. Can we go back to back? Well, again, we are able to overtake Juventus in the league table, which pretty much immediately means you've won the league. So we've done it. And we've done it by getting 101 points and going invincible. At least not yet anyway. We have one more game left to seal the title. Let's just not bottle it. A second Serie A title at last, but can we make it an invincible season? That would be beautiful. The signing of Karim Benzema seems to have gone pretty well. And again, you may have noticed I've been trying to weaken Real Madrid as much as possible. Valverde, now Benzema. It seems to be working for us so far. Come on, let's not lose this game. That's all we need to do. Oh, fuck, a tackle that works effectively like a pass. How did you not stick that challenge? Guys, you're giving me a heart attack. Haven't had a lot of chances in the first half. Maybe in the second, we get that goal. Rodri does love a hit, but I'm not going to do it. We're going to lower the eyes, and we're going to lower them even further, and Mbappe's going to get it. The title was sealed long ago, but we may go invincible after all. Not since Juventus in 2012 has there been an invincible season in Serie A. We may be on the cusp of repeating that achievement. Nearly in stoppage time, a goal here, absolutely, but no. And we have pretty well reached the end, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We are invincible, we are league champions, let's go. Only for the second time in this rebuild and we're up to FIFA 20. Maybe not great, but we'll take it. That is one more Serie A title than AC Milan have managed in real life in the last 10 years anyway. We are starting to stack on the trophies, let's go. It is another Scudetto. And I reckon with a team this good, we, we still have maybe another two or three or so left in us, I reckon. We also won another Italian Cup, thank God. Unbelievable, we do not bottle it to Torino again. But are we in another Champions League final? Are we on for a treble? The answer is yes, we indeed are. Wow, and you're not going to believe 
Real Madrid are not making it easy for us. Even when we poach their better players like Valverde and Benzema, goddammit, Verratti's not going to play the game either. He's injured. The same scenario applies if we let Real Madrid win this Champions League final, then they will be three Champions League titles clear of us and we would need to win every single Champions League four in a row. Can really not allow that to happen because I just, as good as this team is, who's winning four Champions League titles in a row in the 2000s? It would be next to impossible. So for the second season in a row, it's an AC Milan Real Madrid final. What heritage. Let's do it again. Come on, here we go. Off and underway. Oh, that's a love. Lee, pass, not really the intention. We got taken out after the strike, Ben Zemmer. It was pretty late. Is there a penalty in this? Oh, I tell you what, it's not like you can just smash into a guy after he struck the ball. That could have been, probably should, maybe have been a pen. Oh my God, what an opportunity. If we can get Mbappe away. Oh, oh, I thought the keeper would come out for it. He hasn't. Why wouldn't you come out for that ball? Mbappe again in the Champions League final. Well, I thought the keeper was going to come out for that. And I swore he would have got it. But no, lovely ball from Benzema. And Mbappe, well, he just can settle and shoot. With the pace he has, no one was catching him. He had all that time and, well, he's buried it. Courtois, you've had a howler. Zinedine Zidane's pulling his hair out. As you can see, there's nothing left. Rodri, he loves a hit in the Champions League final. Doesn't quite happen there. They're making changes. They're subbing off players. But I'm telling you what, there's not a lot of time left. Just keep it away from our goal. We are all the way down the other end. This thing is wrapped up. Can we seal it with a win? That is a tackle. Is it clean? It doesn't matter. It's over. Full time. Real Madrid taste defeat in the Champions League final once again. And AC Milan now sit on nine UCL titles to Real Madrid's 10. We are just one away now from equaling their record. And ladies and gentlemen, we are hot on their heels with a super team that continues to win trophies. In fact, it's a treble winning team, an invincible team in Serie A, a centurion team. Holy crap, we have the tools to pull off this record. We can do it. There are four more seasons left to go. There are two Champions League titles we need to get. Can we complete the three-peat in FIFA 21? Sometimes I... AC Milan sold off a handful of players I might hold on to. Certain players like Lucas Paqueta to Leon. Suso, they let go to Sevilla as well as Andre Silva for like three million pounds. That is absolutely pretty well nothing. Not for the player he is, hell no. And they also brought in some players that were very, very nice indeed. Birahim Diaz from Real Madrid, Fakayo Tomori from Chelsea, and Sandro Tonali as well. So we've got Birahim Diaz, we've got Sandro Tonali, only 77 overall, but again, another player that toward the end could maybe get in the starting 11. We are so strong defensively as well that like Benucci can't get a start, Romagnoli can't get a start, so Fakayo Tomori may not even feature until like the last season or two as well. We're in such an amazing spot with this team, the players that we've held on to. I am loving the way that this squad looks. And the fact that we've won two Champions Leagues in a row, going for a third, makes me feel even better. Can we do it again? Well, that is yet another Serie A title then. Not quite an invincible Centurion season, but 92 points. Hell yeah, that's our third league title. Sadly, no such luck in the Italian Cup, the Coppa Italia. But have we made a third straight Champions League final? The answer, sadly, will be no. We have been dumped out 4-1 on aggregate to Liverpool in the quarters. Importantly, however, Real Madrid did not win and extend their total to 11. So thankfully, we are, we're still only one away. But now we only have three seasons left to get these two Champions League titles. It gets tougher and tougher every time we fail to get it done. Let's go to FIFA 22. I some more. A twist. Oh, think I didn't you. This season, AC Milan kind of got a bit gutted, you know. They ended up losing Gianluigi Donnarumma to PSG on a free. Hakan Chalhanalu also joined their crosstown rivals for nothing. And yeah, he's pretty good. So Chalhanalu's not going anywhere and neither is Donnarumma. We are keeping both of them. We're also going to recreate one of the signings they made this season and a pretty decent one at that. that. 
Mike Mignard, ladies and gentlemen, for just 15 million euros, they got him from Lille. Just like with Raphael Leal, unbelievable pickups. Mbappe and Benzema are now 91 rated apiece. Incredible, the midfield looks ridiculous. Frank Kessier is now shot up to an 84 and is now a starting center mid. But bloody hell, the team, it just looks outstanding. We need two more Champions League titles in these next three seasons that we have left. Can we complete La Decima, or technically, what would it be? Just punching it into Google Translate. Ah, La Decimo, of course. Can we do it? But starting off in Serie A, you beauty, we have indeed won it again. That's the fourth Serie A title. We are stacking on the trophies toward the end. We got a Coppa Italia as well against Napoli in the final. Beautiful. Do we get another treble? It will not be. It is Juventus that win the Champions League. So... Um, this is it now, people. We are in last chance saloon. We have got to win the remaining two Champions League titles that we have left to get, or we will fail to overtake Real Madrid. Can we get the Champions League done in FIFA 23? In the 2012-2013 season, to get a few exits from AC Milan, like a pretty big one would include that of Frank Kessier for free, Alessio Romagnoli also on a free. The players they brought in weren't all too impressive either. The most expensive signing for about 35 million euros was Charles de Quetelara, and I, I'm probably not gonna go for him yet. And bloody hell, even our reserves look stacked with 80 rated talent, man. We are, there are fights all over the field for who gets into the team. But the front three is amazing. The midfield is amazing. The back line, the goalkeeper, and the backup goalkeeper. But this is it. We have got to make the Champions League final this season and next season, or the whole goal of the rebuild is in the mud. Again, starting off in Serie A, it's another league title. We are now becoming the new Juventus Pro. We're dominating. That is four in a row in the league now, and it's a 10th trophy. Not bad considering how slow we started. No Copper Italia trophy, but are we still on? Can we still break Real Madrid's record? Thankfully, this time we don't have to worry about Real Madrid. It's against Chelsea. Can we get a 10th AC Milan Champions League and keep the dream alive to go level. If at the very least we don't beat Real Madrid record, we can at least equal it. Bloody God damn it, what a team. It's been constantly evolving. Players have been swapping in and out, but what a side we have built and what a team we've got for this final. I have replaced the injured Depay with Lucas Paqueta. Can he be the caca for us in this final? Oh, oh, a bit of a breakdown here. Not Havertz again. God damn it, Thiago Silva. That'll do. And Pulisic having a go, Tonaruma. We're under the pump early. You're going to have a free kick right at the end here. And it is off of the woodwork. And oh, Thiago Silva, that's heroics. That is an unbelievably vital header away. And we somehow survived the Chelsea onslaught to go in a half time level. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can... Oh, you know what? If you're not going to get in the way... Oh, my God. For the love of God, people. Ah, oh, it's another dead ball in. Paqueta out to Valverde. Oh, Mendy. We are getting corner after corner. I am making Karim Benzema. Oh, wow. I'm taking him out. I'm bringing in Zlatan. And just play it out. There is no chance we counterattack from here. It's gonna go to extra time we dominated the second they dominated the first to be fair neither side could score so extra time i suppose it is oh i can see a certain zlatan ibrahimovic at the back stick it won't get to him oh it's up for him now he just can't get on it unbelievable how neither side can score yet this game is so free flowing but nothing's happening silver to have a pop nah lower the eyes oh my god paqueta paqueta cut back paqueta Zlatan! Zlatan Ibrahimovic! The super sub! He's done it! Who else? Again! Another Champions League title is right around the corner for the Swede! Is he the man of all people to deliver La Decimo? I can't believe it! And it is an assist by Lucas Paqueta! He is our caca! Simple touch! And finally, we see the net ripple for the first time tonight. It was risky to take off Benzema. I'd say it's paid off. Don't let him do it. Not like this. Not again, Havertz. No way. Oh, Sterling's gotten through. Blocked in the end. That's beautiful. 
That could be a Champions League winning block. It is! It is the 10th for AC Milan. And with that, this amazing team has equaled Real Madrid's total of 10 Champions League titles. With one season to go, we have a shot at breaking the record. How incredible is this? The 11th trophy of the rebuild as well. And wow. I can't, I can't believe that it came that it was that was a hard four game. I can't believe how difficult that was. Nothing else left to say, people, but let's get it done. Off we go to FC24. So here, ladies and gentlemen, in FC24, this is AC Milan's real life squad. And as you can see, there are some good names and plenty of names that we've kept. Rafael Leal, Hernandez, Tamori, Maignan, and honestly, it's not a bad looking team. And this is the AC Milan side that we have rebuilt that is currently sitting on 10 Champions League titles. Gosh, what a team we have built. That starting 11 is almost as good as it's ever looked. We have Mbappe, we have Benzema. Valverde is actually playing right wing, but it's probably the only place he can play to free up space for Baratti, Rodri, and yes, we've still held on to Sand Tenali. Hopefully in this timeline, we don't suddenly lose him a couple of months into the season. Backline maybe has looked stronger, but it is still pretty strong. And Donnarumma is still the number one goalkeeper. Mike Nunn is the same level. But I'm going to side with Donnarumma. Bloody, we've got Rafael Leao who can't even get into the team. That's unbelievable. And then you've got the rest of the reserves as well. What a side we put together. I like our chances with that squad. Can we overtake Real Madrid? And well, no surprise, we will will take down Serie A for a fifth consecutive time. We will not end with another Coppa Italia, but again, there's only one competition we want to get into the final of. Have we done it? Of course we have, and of course, of course, it's Real Madrid in the final. Unbelievable. For the third damn time in this rebuild, it's going to be AC Milan versus Real Madrid. Benzema has dropped off massively to an 84. I think, honestly, I might replace him with Memphis Depay. Same overall, but statistically, he's way better. I would have loved to have played an 87-rated Rafael Leal, but he he's uh, injured, so he won't be able to play. I am I'm still very happy with the team that we have assembled and I think it can get the job done again. If we do, we will have beaten Real Madrid for a third Champions League final in like five years. Oh my God, we would own them. That's been the whole goal of this rebuild and on the final game of the rebuild, we're on the cusp of it. We've given up a cheap free kick early for Real Madrid, right on the edge of the box here. Please, hopefully not like this. It's Reese James. Oh, that was close. I like this. I like this a lot. If we can get Tenali to send away Mbappe. Oh, this is huge. Who else do we have in support? We don't need no one else in support. Oh my God, what a weak effort. Oh my God, Tamora gets crunched by Ben Yedder. Goals have not been super easy to get. And Real Madrid have had their chances too. I'm lucky that Reese James free kick didn't dip in. Nali's taking it. It's not quite clean, but it doesn't matter because we still get the bounce. Mbappe away. Try it this time. This time he gets it to go. Couldn't score against Courtois on his first attempt when it looked easier to miss. But this time, he gets the goal. The man we're all convinced that's going to join Real Madrid IRL scores in the UCL final against them. Doing it with a Ronaldo chop too is a little bit dirty and a bit naughty. Ha, <laughs> that clean. Oh, is that clean? It is. I didn't think it even would be. Mbappe, what a ball roll. Mbappe, oh, Courtois. Vinicius, blocked by Tamori. Oh, another chance. You know I'm just sending away Mbappe at every opportunity. Feeds the ball. Why did you fuck it? What is going on? It works out in the end. It gets the goal eventually. He's going to be the one to cap it off. The former Barcelona man that never became a Barcelona man in this one. Ball in from Vinny. The header from Ben Yedda. Oh my God, that's off of the woodwork. Chuamani. Hold Magnan. I can hear the crowd chanting, Campiones, Campiones. It's only a matter of time. And the referee blows his whistle. AC Milan get their 11th Champions League title and become the most winningest team in the history of the Champions League. You beauty. We've done it to Real Madrid again. And for the third time, in the end, we are going to finish with six Serie A titles, three Coppa Italias, and now make that a fourth 
Champions League title in the last, what, 10 years? And it is 11 Champions League titles. We overtake Real Madrid. It is 13 trophies for the rebuild as well. Amazing haul. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a team that you want me to do a 10-year rebuild with, then let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and if you want to watch another video, be sure to click on this one as well.